This is Twit. Uh, Jaron Vering. I'm mangling his name, but he's used to it. They call him Jaron in the office. Uh, you are the creator. He is the creator. He knows this, but I'm telling you of JW Player. I like it sometimes in interviews to say, you are the creator of JW Player. For, you went to Eindhoven at Design Academy. Like you didn't know that. He, uh, I'm really glad to talk to you because I'm an admirer from afar from a long time. He really did change the face of video uh, for a lot of us for streaming video. Since my business is streaming video, uh, this is, was very important to us. And, and really getting away from Flash was a big deal uh, for all of us. I, I, you surprise me when you say that HTML5 video had been around. I, I felt like something Google pushed on us uh, uh, fairly recently. Not the case. Uh, yeah, no, 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 indeed. Yeah, been been around for a while. Um, it was actually the team from Opera that uh, oh. you know the, the first implemented video. I think we're talking about '06 or '07. So before the uh, before the iPad, yeah, yeah. But it needed a it needed a nudge, and and it definitely got that nudge uh, when the uh, when yeah, the iPad thank got you, Steve Jobs. Yeah. So does yeah. it is it is it a W three C um, standard? Yeah, yeah. Right now, it's W3C standard. I think it's just about the only way that you can stream video these days, and so, yeah, at least all the major browsers have standardized on it. And um, it's not done yet, so there's still uh, you know, there's still bits and pieces that uh, that um, you know, the W3C and companies like us are still figuring out. All right, you're going to help me because this it is a mishmash of concepts and terms there's codecs there's wrappers there's the video tag which doesn't say anything at all it's it is a it is a crazy quilt of concepts and and people say it html5 as if that's like well you know but it but that it's a magic wand but it it, it doesn't even really say what codec right yeah 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 indeed there's a lot going on yeah yeah, so, I can. Uh, yeah, help me, <laughs> help help me and our audience <laughs> yeah. understand. Yeah, this. Yeah, I, I think that the you know because the the, the video tag had yeah, that that single HTML5 tag. It's very simple. It's very it's deceptively simple. Uh, underneath that goes the video file. So the the file that you're loading. Uh, nowadays, luckily, there is one format that works everywhere. Yeah, the, the 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 MP4 format. With the H.264 video and the AAC audio, and uh, you know that that allows you to play a you know a clip, not a uh, live stream or a long form piece of content, but a clip of video uh, across all the browsers. So those are codecs, compression decompression algorithms. Obviously, you can't play uncompressed video. You can't stream uncompressed video. It's too massive, so you have to squeeze it. It's a lossy, almost always lossy. I mean, it is always lossy. Um, same thing with the audio. It has to be compressed. So you're saying that the HTML5 standard now is MPEG-4, H.264. Is that the same thing? Yeah, the, so the container, <laughs> the, 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 the file format, the zip file, call it, uh, is uh, MP4. Okay. And then... Uh, yeah, the video is is today is mostly H.264. But you could uh, have an, an MPEG-4 that contains a different codec. Oh yeah, that's all possible. Yeah, just you like just have like a WMV or a MOV could contain different codecs. So yep. MP4 is the new MOV, basically. Mm -hmm. That was the old QuickTime wrapper. We call that I call it a wrapper because it's it's what contains the data, but the data can be compressed in a variety of ways. Uh, what are but so there's isn't there VP six VP nine there's other codecs as well right yeah yeah there there's been through the through the years there's been a, a ton of different codecs what you're now seeing is that H uh, two six four that's the standard one and then you have two uh, or or three even next generation codecs so you have um, uh, two advanced ones coming up. One of them is from Google. It's open source. It's free. It's called VP9. The other one is from the um, MPEG consortium, and that's H.265. So that's one, that's essentially the successor to the one that's currently very um, uh, widely used. And uh, you know, the, the perk of both is essentially that they uh, make the video smaller at, uh, at the same uh, file size. Um the part of the reason people kind of aren't didn't want to use h.264 is this notion that 
it was encumbered by patents and that in some cases, and it's never been clear which cases, you'd have to pay royalties to the MPEG Alliance. Is that correct? <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's still, um, you know, the, the, the terms have been clarified and uh, a lot. And I think that this is also something that uh, the um, uh, Google's codex have helped nudge uh, in, in the right direction. Um but yeah, it's still a little bit messy. And, and the new codec uh, has at least three different patent pools with their own <laughs> rights and loyalty. So that's that's essentially what is uh, what is hindering the adoption of this OC, the, the new version, the 265 version. Right. And Google claimed uh, at the time, oh, no patents uh, on VP9. But that may not actually be the case, right? It's kind of hard to do video compression without being at least vulnerable to a patent lawsuit. Yeah, I think that that's hard. Um, but, um, you know, the, the, the chances of, of any company really digging in and, uh, you know, trying to get, get Google to pay up for something um, is relatively low. Google also uh, made a, a sort of handshake settlement with uh, the, the, the consortium that uh, controls H264. Um, so, Oh, my lights are turning off. One second. <laughs> wave your hands. <laughs> yeah, I'll wave my hands. Um, Modern corporations will save money any way they can, boys and yeah, girls. Yeah, it looks like it. Let me, uh, let me quickly... Oh, there, there we, we go. go. I just had to run around. That so. means we've kept you too long. <laughs> lights are out. Uh, but <laughs> yeah, but I, I think the, you know, the, the, the big thing that, uh, that has, um, um, you know, uh, yeah, I mean, the, the patents are the problem of the right. standard codex. They're, right. they're very, very good codex, but uh, the patents are just what holding uh, a, a bunch of companies and, and, of course, also individual developers back from uh, from innovating. Well, it's also uh, unclear who, if if MPEG LA comes after you, who has to pay and who doesn't have to pay. It's very unclear. Yeah, I, I know you yeah. as the as the player creators would absolutely have to pay a license fee. There's no question about that. But do the users have to pay a license fee? That seems unclear. Yeah, yeah, and it's it's use case based. It's it's destination based. It's it's relatively complicated indeed. Yeah. yeah.